Alright, I think this will be the final video in my tutorial on how to solve the 5x5. This will be how to solve your 5x5 like a 3x3 once you've solved the centers and edges. Uh, for beginners, it may be a little difficult to visualize the 3x3 inside, but here's what it looks like. You have the four corners. Those are like the four corners on a 3x3. You have the set of three for an edge. Treat that as one edge piece on a 3x3. So, one by two... One, sorry, one, two, three, by one, two, three, by one, two, three. So there you go. There's your three by three. Right? So, uh, you should know how to solve a three by three. If you're trying to solve a five by five, that would be quite backwards if you're learning the five by five first. So, I'll just say what I'm doing as I'm going along. I won't explain it because I'm sure most of you attempting the 5x5 five five are proficient enough on the 3x3 three three to be able to follow. Build the cross first. All right? And then... Uh, I guess I'll do it this way. God, these colors look exactly the same. See, now, the different thing about the 4x4... Four four, uh, about the 4x4 four four is that strange things can happen when you're solving it like a 3x3 three three because it's an even number cube. The great thing about the 5x5, five five, and why I like it so much better, is that there are no weird things that can happen. Once you solve the centers and edges, everything else will be precisely like 3x3. Three three. You will not come across anything different. You will not come across anything strange. Those were Fridger two layers, by the way. First two layers. And then, after that, you have the final third layer, and you do everything exactly like you normally would nothing different than the 3x3 three three, and it will all come out just fine okay and there you go final algorithm you must know how to solve a 3x3 three three in order to solve the 5x5 five five like this so if you don't and you're trying to solve the 5x5 five five, I suggest that you watch my 3x3 three three videos because those have gotten some pretty good feedback um I guess that's it uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, you can email me if I don't get you back within a couple days and it's during the week. Uh, keep faith that I will definitely email you back on a weekend, okay? Because uh, school might be a little tricky this year, okay? That's how you solve the 5x5. Five five. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it was helpful to everyone watching. And uh, I hope to make more videos in the future because I've gotten a lot of good feedback from the ones that I have made. Have fun, guys, and good luck.